We're back again solving financial statement problems. This time we're analyzing and interpreting a statement of earnings. You've already seen a number of videos on how to produce the statement of earnings, but what is more important, for an accountant at least, is the ability to analyze and interpret the statement of earnings so that we actually know what is going on in the company. As always, we start by reading the question. We have ABC Corporation. They started on January 1st, 2018, and we see from the date on the statement of earnings that it is now the end of December 31st, 2018. They provide consulting services to customers, which is why their revenues are service revenue. At the end of 2018, we have a statement of earnings. In this case, we're going to be asked specific questions, but note that you should, as an accountant, be able to discuss this with your client without having a list of questions from the client. Note that the required asks us to support our position with reasoning and use the numbers from the statement. That's incredibly important when you are analyzing financial statements. Let's get started. What was the average amount of monthly revenue? We calculate this by dividing total revenues by the number of months the statement covers, which in this case was 12. Average monthly revenues are 18,400. Does that mean that the company actually earned 18,400 in revenue every single month? And the answer would be no. Many companies are seasonal. They'll have high revenues in certain months and low revenues in other months. For instance, toy stores generally do 50% of their sales during the Christmas season. For the remainder of the year, their sales vary greatly. Let's move on to the next question. What was the amount of monthly rent? We take the total rent expense and divide it by the period that the statement covers. This indicates that monthly rent is... Do you believe that this is the actual amount of the monthly rent? Rent can be charged in two ways. One, a set amount every single month. An alternative can be a smaller amount of set rent every single month plus a percentage of the revenues earned by the company that is renting the location. We actually don't know which method the landlord of this location uses but it's likely because of the amount that the landlord is charging $1,950 every single month. Moving on. Why are supplies an expense? Because if you obtain supplies for your business, such as pencils, pens, letterhead, envelopes, the fact is you're going to consume those supplies in order to generate revenue. Supplies is an expense because it represents the cost of the supplies used or consumed in performing the services that were sold. Next question. Interest on the statement was $8,400. Interest is never used or consumed. Instead, it's incurred. It's the cost of borrowing money. The company has an outstanding loan from another party. The $8,400 is the amount of interest possibly owed or already paid on that debt for the year 2018. That interest is an expense regardless of whether it was paid or not. Remember, the definition of an expense is used, consumed, or incurred to help generate revenue. It does not indicate whether it is paid or not, nor does it matter when you're recording an expense. What was the average income tax rate for the company? Let's jump back to the statement of earnings. We can see the earnings before income tax and also the income tax expense. In order to calculate the income tax expense, someone must have taken the earnings before income tax and multiplied it times the tax rate. Let's look at that calculation. Earnings before income tax multiplied by the tax rate equals, if I know the income tax expense and I know the earnings before income tax, I can calculate for the unknown number. The average income tax rate for this company is 35.63%. Moving on. What does the amount of total revenue mean to external decision makers? Every business depends on its revenues to ultimately increase the company's profit and ensure its continued growth. Businesses use current revenue figures to develop revenue improvement plans and to monitor the business's past performance. External decision makers also called users or stakeholders, use this information for the same purpose. 
to assess the business's performance and make predictions about future revenue growth. They will also use it to assess the possible impact of economic upswings and downswings and new trends that develop. Revenues is one of the main factors in profitability and, as such, it is an extremely important number for decision makers to watch. Is it possible to determine how much cash the company had on December 31st? And the answer is no. The statement of earnings does not report or make it possible to determine the ending cash balance. Cash is reported in two places the statement of financial position under current assets and on the statement of cash flows as the final ending balance. The 38880 in net earnings is an accrual number, which means it includes revenues that have not as yet been collected in cash and expenses that have not as yet been paid. Therefore, net earnings is not equal to cash. Final question. Is it possible to determine the amount of accounts receivable on the statement of financial position from the credit sales on the statement of earnings? And the answer would be no. The total credit sales made during the year, which are 26000 according to the statement of earnings, does not tell you if customers have paid or not. Credit sales throughout the year only tell us the total amount that was sold on credit, not how much is still due from customers at December 31, 2018. If all customers had paid, it's even possible that the outstanding accounts receivable at December 31st is zero. Only by looking at the statement of financial position can we determine the amount of outstanding accounts receivable. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.